the Grateful Ghost. It is often told that in the days of the Koru dynasty, sometime around 918 to 1392, when an examination was to be held, a certain scholar came from a far distant part of the country to take part. Once on his journey, the day was drawing to a close, and he found himself among the mountains. Suddenly, he heard a sneezing from among the creepers and bushes by the roadside, but could see no one. Thinking it very strange, he dismounted from his horse, went into the brake, and did listen. He heard it again, and it seemed to come from the roots of the creeper close beside him. So he ordered his servant to dig around it and to see. He did dig, and he found a dead man's skull. It was full of earth, and the roots of the creeper had passed through the nostrils. The sneezing was caused by the annoyance felt by the spirit from having the nose so discommoded. The candidate felt very sorry, and did wash the skull in clean water, wrapped it in paper, and reburied it in its former place upon the hillside. He also brought a table of food, and did offer a sacrifice, speaking a prayer. That night, in a dream, a scholar came to him, an old man with white hair, who bowed and thanked him, and said, on account of a sin committed in a former life, I died out of season, before I had fulfilled all my days. My posterity, too, has all been destroyed. My body is crumbled back into the dust, my skull alone remaining. That is what you found below the creeper. On account of the root passing through it, the annoyance was much great and I could not help but sneeze. By good luck, you and your very kind heart, blessed of heaven, did take pity upon me, and buried me in a clean place, and did give my spirit food. Your kindness is greater than the very mountains, and like the blessing that first brought me into life, though my soul is by no means perfected, Yet I long for some way by which to requite your favor. So I have exercised my powers in your behalf. Your present journey is for the purpose of trying the official examination. So I shall tell you beforehand what the form is to be and the subject. It is to be of character groups of fives. In couplets, the rhyme sound is pong and the subject, peaks and spires of the summer clouds. I have composed one for you, which, if you do care to use it, would undoubtedly win you the first place. It is thus. The white sun rode high in the heavens. The floating clouds formed a lofty peak. The priest who saw them asked if there was temple there, and the crane lamented the fact that no pines were visible. But the lightnings from the clouds were the flashing of woodman's axe, and the muffled thunders were the bell calls of a holy temple. Will any say that the hills do not move? On the sunset breezes they do sail away. And thus stating it, the spirit bowed and took his departure. The man in deep wonder, awakened from his dream, came up to shore, and behold, the subject was as foretold by the spirit. He broke down what had been given him and became first in the honors of the occasion.